crowd here inside tonight hoping for another Mayday moment. The Sabres start with possession as we are now underway. Down the right side and into the zone. Great poke check on the reach. The Sabres gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Crossers gain the line and on the attack. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Scores! And the road team quickly gets on the board, and this place got quite quick. Well, it's always tough when you're on the road, James, but when you get off to a good start, you're prepared, and you turn the momentum, it's all in your favor. This is such an impressive goal, James. He's in a tight space, and he knows exactly where his opponent is, and those silky mitts, they're put to work. You know how often he's practiced on those. He makes his move, not once, twice, multiple times to be able to bury it. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing to score. Minnesota's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Panic's got it across the line. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Up along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Chara. And that's turned aside. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. Haas makes another incredible save, and really, that's what he's been doing all season long. I mean, his save percentage numbers are terrific. The team is winning. You can't ask for much more than that, can you, James? From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And kept that one out of the net. And that's poked away by Gabryk. And he slides it quickly to Johns. He carries the puck up along the wing. A scenery chance! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. And they win the draw on their own end. Quick pass to Theodore. Steps inside. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Buffalo's moving it along the wing. Quick feed to Spurgeon. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. On the attack along the boards. Works it across to Benson. Picked off by Brodine. Gaining momentum up along the side. There's a shot! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Van Eck's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Sends the pass over. Middle stats got it in the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Sabres have it behind the cage. From off the wall and onto a stick. Musa quickly over to Paterka. Takes the feed from the left side. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Poked away in the offensive zone by Solani. Carries it in. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Erickson X won the draw. The Sabres have it now. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Sabres played along the boards. Huge steal in his own end. 
Minnesota's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Levels them with the hit. Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Taken along the wall by McCabe. And a stick break set up. And it's a quick pass to Michael. Shot! Who oh, gets a pat on that one? What a stop by Dubnik. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Here's a short pass to Ball. Buffalo's got the puck. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Here's a chance. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Moves it to Spurgeon. Buffalo's got possession of the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Quick pass to Samuelson. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Dubnik. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Minnesota's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Moves the puck to Spurgeon. And here at center, that's intercepted. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Spurgeon. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Taken by Darlene. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cousins. Center and feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Sabres pick up Steven are on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. They go on the attack through center. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And the puck's booted away. Buffalo's got the puck. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Scrum along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Brodeen. Still keeps a hold of it. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Buffalo has had a strong first period, James. I mean, they own the puck. They managed it well. They just weren't able to convert as many times as they wanted to. But they can trust the process and continue those habits. They'll get back in the game. Coming to the front of the net. James working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. Buffalo's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. And now it's over to Champion. And he takes the feed. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Here's the pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And that goes off a player in front. Quick feed to Darlene. 
Green. Buffalo's at the line. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Slides it quickly to Darlene. Poked away at center by Cullen. And now he passes up to Michael. And that's just out of reach. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry on the left side. Denies him on the slapper. Puck picked up by Cullen. Denies him again. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. With some open space at center. Fires it into the offensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. Scooped up along the wall by Thompson. Buffalo's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Johns plays it now. Quick pass across to Skinner. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Strong defensive effort. The Sabres will play it in their own end. And he takes the dish. Nice zone entry from the left. Moves it quickly over to Declare. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Cousins. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Turned like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Oh, what a save by the Tendi. Here's the pass. Zone. Here's a short pass to Declare. To the front! <laughs> Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Off the draw, they take possession. Moves it to Brodeen. Now a quick pass to Vanek. Quick shot, and not much on that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Don't forget to join us coming up next home game is Scarf Night. The team's giving away souvenir scarves for free. Just jump on board, make sure you got your tickets, and we'll see you then. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, no one has time to react to the clean face-off win. No one, including the goaltender, as this one is just ripped as a one-timer and beats the goaltender clean. Minnesota's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Oh, well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Pushes it across to Gabarik. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Quick pass to Krebs. Makes his presence known on the ice. Sends it into the offensive zone. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. And it's kicked away. Brodeen stick handling in his own zone. The Sabres gain possession. Reaches out and uses the stick. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Great stick work with the steal. Pass to Johns. Oh, that's a good hit. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Johns is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's going to take it. He's an aggressive style player and he tries to attack. But when he does it there, he loses the puck. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a chance. Can't connect the play. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Buffalo's got it behind the net. Gains the zone along the right wall. Buffalo's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Dismissed that chance. 
Dubnik styled in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. And they'll go the other way with it. Minnesota's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. We've got to find a way to generate some offense. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Slides the puck to Michael. And now he moves it quickly to power. Into the offensive zone. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Beautiful read in the defensive end by CeCe. The pass in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! Takes the feed from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Benson. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. He's got a step! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Getting into the later stages of this period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Koivu's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Blast on the blue line. She scores! Right on point. Wow. That's just an incredible shot, James, that sends the water bottle flying. I mean, it gets air. I'm not sure if the goalie saw this or tracked this correctly, James, but it was just a bullet of a shot from the point that had seeing eyes. Minnesota's been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. Knocked away with the stick by Petrie. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. The Sabres have it from their own end. Quick feed to Cousins. Now over to Samuelson. Takes a shot. Drop a save. Dubnik's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Feeds the puck over to Cullen. The setters will glide into the dot. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Buffalo is trailing in the game here in the third period, James, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort or not buying into the game plan. I feel like they've been urgent, they've been skating well, and of course they've dominated possession time. It's just a matter of having it translate to offense on the scoreboard. Turn that chance aside. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it and makes a save. Off the left wing and into center. Denies him in close. Now he takes it over the line. Shot. Oh, what a stop by Dubnik. Takes the puck along the boards. And that doesn't reach the net. Champions got it behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Slides the puck across to Koivu. Quick feed to Darlene. And serves up a little knock on the play. Offside the call, we'll get a reset.
still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. And it's a quick pass to Kaprizov. Takes the pass. That's intercepted. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Comes up with the stop. Haas has it and hangs on for the stoppage of play. Well, he's been excellent all night, just managing the puck, managing the game situation right there. Minnesota's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. The Sabres win the defensive zone faceoff. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Sends a pass over. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Comes up with a monster save in front. More than half the period left to play. Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead. Cousins wins possession off the draw. CeCe's moving the puck through his own zone. Minnesota's got possession at center. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Champion's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And he keeps possession. Here they come on the attack. Sent into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Thompson. And he takes the pass. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Here's a centering pass. And that doesn't connect. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. Forces the turnover. Directs it on over to Cousins. Feed to the middle. Scores! What an opportunity and delivers. He does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're in net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get on beats the goaltender clean. Sabres have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal. Is they're within striking distance. You can feel the energy. It's just up and out of them right now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Wilds have taken possession of their own end. Chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many. And the arm! Buffalo's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. They have to find a way to stay confident, continue with the game plan as they press towards the offensive zone. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Buffalo's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Let's go, Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Let's go, Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to Krebs. And a strong physical collision on the play there. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Breakaway! team recognizes that when their leader scores it's about the intangible the hard work the work ethic the drive to compete and that sends a message right down the entire lineup let's get going officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway
Not a shot and play resumes. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Intercepts the pass. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to champion. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. The Blues are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. And off the draw, they take the puck. Slides it across to CeCe. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Takes it to the front! Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defense. They're going to bring up the pass. The Sabres have it now. Quick pass to Champion. And puts it scores! And just like that, we've got a one-goal game. Well, yeah, I mean, it's much less daunting now, isn't it, James? They're within striking distance to get the equalizer. They're going to have to continue to play aggressive and try and layer some good shifts together. He gets his shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Sabres definitely needed that one here in the third. You feel their energy amping up as they get through this third period, and they'll need to have their best hockey at the last if they want to get back in this one. Puck scooped up by Power. Moves it on over to Benson. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Takes a shot. Turns that one away. Here's a chance in front. There's a shot. up and suddenly we're in next goal win territory, Cheryl. Yeah, these last minutes are critical in this game and you know that the big mistake that happens, it could be the last one. And play resumes as the puck is shot. Bannock's got it along the wing. Puts it on that and he makes that save as well. Bannock's taking a nasty whack and that's going to draw a penalty. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Vincent's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Minnesota's got a great opportunity here on the power play. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And Ross taking the puck behind his net. And he can't hang on after that hit. Vanek's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. And look at that. Scores! Putting the special in special teams. They take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. How many times have we seen this before, James? He is just in on the puck, hounding, and he's able to retrieve the 50-50 battle, and as a reward, it finds the back of the net. The Wild have the go-ahead goal here in the third. Can they play safe now? Uh, I don't think so. I think you got to know where you've gotten to because of the aggressive nature in which you've played. There's a lot of runway left in terms of the other team gaining some momentum. You want to play aggressive, keep your foot on the gas pedal, and continue to try and push. And now he moves it to Gabarik. Here's a feed in front, and that's intercepted. All alone. That's a textbook save by Dubnik. Can't keep a hold of it. Receives the pass. The Wild have it in their own zone. Champion's got the puck now in his own end. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Chara. Well, this game 
game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal cards. McCabe's got the puck in his own zone. Back to the point, it goes. Oh, what a slick stop by Dubnik. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Nice poke check. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. Handles the puck. Skinner's pass was so difficult, James. He's got a step. Oh, what a save. This game has everything tonight. Wow, it's been unbelievable. In particular, down the stretch and keeping the game close here with a ball in their stick. You have to find a way to execute. Carlin Payne is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Silverberg's gone to work, guys, and even though he hasn't been rewarded with a point, I like how he's played his game better. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Cousins moves the puck. Poked away at center by Benson. Shot denies him! The Sabres have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Moves it to Solani. Slick feed. Rocks him. Picked up along the boards by Solani. Moves the puck. Here's a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Well, after this one, partner, can we call this a heater now? We can call it a heater. And any time you're in the win column multiple games in a row, James, you know that everyone is feeling it. They're calling it a heater as well. Why? They're putting pucks in the net. No matter what they do, they're getting puck luck as well. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.